hey guys welcome back to my kitchen so in today's video i share with you how to make ofaku or banga stew my goodness these two always bangs just as the name says <laughs> so sit tight and let's do this together i have some palm fruits in the pot already cooked before cooking these i washed the palm fruits thoroughly over five times to get rid of the sand in it and dirt in it so now i checked on it and the palm fruit is well cooked i'm going to remove this from the pot and then transfer to my mortar so if you have food processor you can also use it instead of this mortar it is even faster with the food processor so i'm going to use my pistol to just heat on it and also take note when pounding this you don't pound with too much force or strength so that you don't break the palm kernel you just heat it gently until you begin to see some chaffs coming out like this at this point you will know that it is ready so now i used this spoon to just scoop out all of this palm fruit into the pot if this is your first time on here you're welcome please let me use this time to request of you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet please hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification so you get notified whenever i upload in new videos and to my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back you are one in a million thank you so much so once i'm done scooping out everything from the mortar to the pot i'm going to be adding hot water now whenever i'm trying to extract the juice from the palm fruit i always like using hot water this makes it very easy for all of the oil in the palm fruit to come out now i'm just going to use the spoon to just mix and mix so that it gets to the bottom of the pot like touch every of the palm fruit so that all the whole oil in it will dissolve this video is a step-by-step -step guide and all of these processes are very important important when making ofako or banga stew so once i'm done mixing it like this i'm going to use that spoon to remove the chaff and transfer to a sieve once the sieve is full i'm going to allow the juice to drain and i'll do this to the remaining palm kernel and chaff in the pot so the next step is to place that sieve in the pot where, where i'll be using to cook the stew and i'll pour in all of this juice inside of it i'm using a strainer that has very tiny holes this will enable the chaff in it not to pass through so i'm just going to use this spoon and keep mixing until it looks like this and i'll transfer the remaining ones and keep mixing it with my spoon to allow it pass through the the sieve once it starts getting thick like this i'm going to add the remaining hot water in the kettle in it to help uh, lighten it up a little so that it will be able to pass through the strainer i'm still going to use that spoon to just keep mixing and mixing until it looks like this now our palm fruit juice is ready huh? so as you can see from this video there are no dirt in need in this juice at all it is very very clean my choice of protein for this stew is catfish if you're using beef or any type of meat you will be sure to steam it first before adding it to the pot now i have some dried panla fish and dried sardine fish i'm going to add it to the pot added some fresh blended pepper and some onion this too requires lots of onion if you don't like onion you can just add the quantity you're comfortable with i added some cameroon pepper just for a little spiciness and then i added some seasoning cube now i'm going to go in with some blended crayfish powder so if you're a lover of oguyokwe this is the best time to add it it takes this too from zero to hundred added some some salt added a little bit more and gave this a very quick mix just to combine all of the ingredients Fako is a stew majorly cooked in the eastern part of nigeria so let me know where you're watching from so i can send you a virtual hug in my next video i'm going to cover this and allow it to cook for 20 minutes while that is cooking i'm going to cut my scent leaf scent leaf is one important ingredient for this ofako uh, ofako is not complete without scent leaf guys trust me so after 20 minutes i'm going to check on the pot and this is what we have everything is well cooked you don't want to overcook that catfish so it doesn't break in the stew i'm going to give this a very good stir test and adjust seasoning if need be mine was just fine 
now i added the scent leaf to the pot i like using lots of scent leaf for my ofako so i'm going to give this a very good stir and just to combine and then i'll cover it and allow this to cook for three minutes so that the scent leaf will release some of that flavor into the stew and after three to four minutes our ofako is ready and by the way one of the ways to know that your ofako is well cooked is when you see oil starts floating on it i paired this with a plate of rice and it was so yummy and delicious trust me guys please do not forget to like this video leave a comment and also share this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet thank you very much for watching see you in my next one bye